Welcome back to River City Live. Well, it's the summertime, and if you're a parent or grandparent, this is the perfect opportunity to talk with your kids and see what are the next steps for school. Maybe they go back to the same school, or maybe it's time to explore a different option that might be more geared to what they do and how they learn. I'd like to welcome back Emlyn James with the Greenwood School. So welcome back to River City Live. Thank you, Mark. So nice it's, to be back. It's always a pleasure having you. So it's the summertime. It's time to have that conversation with your kid, and you guys have sp a specialty school. We do. We're a small, private specialty school. We have to say specialty because it's really hard to define. Um, we specialize in students with learning differences, meaning how they receive information isn't the same as your typical child. Quite honestly, that's every child. Uh, and how they give that information back isn't necessarily going to be the same. And when you talk about this, there's a traditional method that most schools have. Mm -hmm. Yours is a little bit different, but it's still for average to above average kids. Yep. Right? It's just you're going to provide the curriculum in a unique way. Absolutely. We do follow Florida standards and exceed them in many, many cases. The main point of the school is to have a child get through middle school, get into high school properly with a good foundation, and graduate with as many doors open as possible, from four-year colleges to eight-year colleges to trades to whatever it might be. And we do that based on that student's affinities at that time as they go through the school. So what does the curriculum look like? How do you serve the students? Uh, again, it depends on the student and that group of students and how they matriculate through and how the dynamic works. But we do have accommodations that help with memory issues, with learning issues primarily. Extended time goes to every student. Our class sizes are 12 students maximum. That's kind of the silver bullet. And from there, teachers have more contact with the students and can adapt lessons as they go. And every year looks different from the one before it. And you guys have a special environmental yeah. education program. Yeah. Let's talk about that, because the campus you sit on is gorgeous. We have 10 acres. We've been very lucky to have 10 acres of protected wetlands that we use as outdoor classrooms for all topics. It's amazing how many excuses you can have to teach history <laughs> in the woods. Outside. But we also have uh, a very, very strong science program where we do meaningful and real science research on water quality, on environmental things, on animal habitats, and so on. And it just seems so, again, hands-on, and the different stimuli that you provide for the kids just creates an atmosphere where they can be engaged and they can learn. Yep. This is one of the things, we were talking about this earlier, and we, we both agreed on this. If this was around when I was a kid, this would be perfect yep. for me. It's just how I was wired. I needed the stimuli. I needed a little bit more attention, mm -hmm. small class sizes. It's perfect. And I, pretty much everyone agrees with you on that. <laughs> Not about you, but everybody. <laughs> that pretty much if a, stu a school can adapt itself to you, why wouldn't you go there? And that's... What we do and that's what it seems like too, the customization if you will yeah. so if you are a parent what are some questions you should be asking your kid in order to take this step if you've got that sinking suspicion that your child is far i hate to use the word bright but more capable and skilled than their grades have been showing this past whatever many years come and talk to us it's often the testing that doesn't reflect what they can do and we're very good at digging that up. And that's such a smart way to put it. The testing mm -hmm. is not your identity. There's no, a lot of things you're bringing to the table right. than just regurgitating yeah. the answers on that test. We like to have a product. We like to see what the students can actually physically do. We have portfolios in high school. We have projects galore. But it is all rooted in very strict academic procedure and, and so on and so forth. We and just spend a little more time. You have after-school programs as well. Tons of after-school programs. Um, from archery to chess to pretty active sports teams who do compete with other schools. We introduced, um, well, we had fencing for years, we still do. The archery program took off very, very quickly because we handed kids bows and arrows, and uh, <laughs> that goes well. Oh, there you go. And we're looking at really competing on a large scale with that because the students have picked it up beautifully. And talk about helping with focus. It's tremendous. I know one of the things that you always encourage people mm -hmm. to do, if you want to explore and get more information, I'm going to give you the contact information in just a second, but you have to come out to the campus and really look around and just yeah. dive into it. So for more information, you can go to the website, which is greenwoodjacks.org, or you could call them 904-726-5000. Again, that number is 904-726-5000. Emlyn, thank you so much for your time and another overview of the Greenwood School. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Pleasure. Stick around. More to come right after this.